Hey everybody, welcome to Takeout Tuesday. Deacon Jim here. Hope you're having a really good day. Wow, I want to think together with you for a moment about Sunday and Pastor Rick's message about the prodigal son. Just taking us back to the Gospel of Luke chapter 15. You know, here we find this overwhelming sense of God's love for us, willing to go the extra mile for us. It starts by talking about the lost sheep, then a lost coin, but then the parable of the prodigal son, where the son is loved by his father, but his son says, I want uh, everything. I want my inheritance, my inheritance now. It disgraces the father. He runs off. He squanders it. Um, he has no money. Famine comes. He's eating, you know, as bad as what the pigs get. And he comes to his senses. And he says, what am I doing? And there's this repentance. I... I would be better off back at my dad's, just being a hired hand. And he heads on back. And this is where I want to just pick up and emphasize a little bit here. Um, but while he was still, this is the son, it says in verse 20. But while he was still in the distance, his father saw him and was filled with compassion. The father ran to his son, embraced him and kissed him. The son declared, Father, I have sinned against heaven and against you. I'm no longer worthy to be called your son. But the father said to his servants, quick, bring the best robe and put it on him. Put a ring on his finger and sandals on his feet. Bring the fatted calf and kill it. Let us feast and celebrate for this son of mine was dead. And is alive again. He was lost and is found. And so I don't know where, where, how you're feeling today. Maybe lost, maybe feeling far from God. But <laughs> in this passage, it talks about him being in the distance, seeing from a distance. Um, and it just tells me that before we see God, God already sees us. And his compassion is great when there's a sense of repentance. And Lent, the season of Lent is about that in some regards, right? Taking a, a deeper look at our lives and our priorities um, and maybe um, making some changes. So um, know that God is incredibly loving and gracious for you and for me this day. Uh, let's pray. Dear Heavenly Father, gracious God, thank you for another day of life. Um, thank you for your goodness and your blessings poured out, especially through your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. May he reign in our lives and our hearts and all we do and all that we say. Uh, in your name we pray. Amen. God bless.